In this video, we'll cover the assembly steps for the DLP Discovery D4100 series of development kits offered by Digital Light Innovations. You can find the written guide by following the link in the description below. Before you get started, make sure to review the precautions listed in the written guide. It's important to remember the D4100 development kits contain electrostatic discharge sensitive components. So be sure to implement the proper grounding procedures and handle the system with care to prevent damage. Make sure you're working in a clean, static safe work area. In this video, I'm utilizing an anti-static wrist strap and an anti-static mat for proper grounding. I've also checked that my system is turned off and disconnected from all other systems. To get started, you'll need the D4100 controller board, DMD assembly, and a Phillips head screwdriver. Now that you've taken the proper precautions and have all the items needed, let's get started. You'll first want to locate the end of the flex cable, labeled DMD end, and position the DMD assembly face down. Go ahead and unscrew the flex cable screws from the backer plate. Next, align the flex cable screws and pins to the corresponding holes on the DMD board. Once aligned, place the backer plate on the DMD board and screw in the flex cable, making sure not to over tighten. Now, you're going to connect the opposite end of the flex cable to the controller board. The controller board should be positioned face up. You'll see flex one and flex two labeled on the board. Unscrew the flex cable screws from the backer plate Align the screws and pins on the flex cable to the corresponding holes on the controller board. Place the backer plate on the other side and screw the flex cable in place, making sure again not to over tighten. Once you've completed these steps, your development kit is now assembled. For questions or support, you can contact us at dlinnovations.com. Thanks for watching.